Mama Liga Shipa Parashi Brunza e Slanina. As you can see, we've utilized the leftover Mama Liga, which we've cut up and we're going to fry so they get crispy. The other item would be eggs. I'm going to beat these eggs up like you're going to make scrambled eggs. The other ingredient we're going to use is the cheese, and that's going to go on top. So that's what Mama Liga Shipa Parashi Brunza e Slanina is. Slanina is bacon. Previously, uh, my daughter filmed me making a mamaliga, uh, and that's kind of the basis of what we're gonna be doing this morning, except it's just the leftovers. If you didn't eat all your mamaliga with your chili or your chicken stew or whatever you had over it, then what are you gonna do with it? Well, we wanna utilize it. So what we're gonna do is cut this up. Watch how daddy cuts this. Grandpa, you see? Okay, like that, and then we're gonna we're gonna make these small. So you see how I'm doing that? Then we turn it this way, and whack, whack, whack. Okay. Now don't try to do this too fast. Uh, if you do, you will be able to cut your finger off. Boom, boom, right. <laughs> All I'm doing is making small little cubes, which are going to fry up crispy. Notice, that's quite a bit. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and get the pan going. We're going to turn the, the gas on here. We're going to get the pan hot. And you, as you can see, my daughter has meticulously taken leftover bacon and she freezes it which is a good thing to do. Okay, so it's a little hard, but that doesn't matter. The pan's gonna heat it up and cook it just fine. It's gonna take a second to kind of melt down. Yeah, no, this is fun. I'm loving this. It's gonna take a while for this to cook. We'll come back to it when it's ready to actually incorporate the mamaliga in. You think? Now, while the bacon is frying up. Uh, I'm going to take some eggs and I'm going to crack. Oh, that's not hard boiled, is it? No. Okay, that's good. That's one. That's two. How many eggs should you do per person? Three. We got three people here. Four. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with at least seven or eight eggs. Because okay. we have quite a bit of a league. Now, another thing. If you got too much and it's all done, guess what? Put it in a saver and eat it the next day or for dinner. You know, this stuff lasts for a long time. Now, how many eggs do we have there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna go with eight, okay? I'm gonna go with at least eight. Now, where's that wet? There it is. I also put a little shot of milk in my eggs. It makes them a little fluffy and creamy. Uh, a little half and half will do. Can you bring me that? This is my beautiful granddaughter over here. She's a great help in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, see that? Just that much cream, that's it. And you whip that up, you would, wouldn't believe the difference that makes. It makes the eggs fluffy, soft, succulent, and delicious. Okay, that's, we'll set that to the side. I'm gonna get rid of the eggshells. Somebody can open that trash can for Grandpa. There we go, get rid of that. How's that bacon doing there, Jerush? Oh yeah, it's, it's getting there. It's on really high heat. Okay, just a little bit. Anyway, the eggs are ready, but we're gonna use those in a minute. You know, I've been here at my daughter's house for what, six days now? Since I've been here, she's been giving me these latte lattes and I'm kind of liking them. It's not, not too bad. I'm normally just a regular coffee drinker guy, but these, these lattes are pretty nice, I have to admit. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you'll notice the coffee cup I'm using here says Georgia on it. Now why? Because I have a 
great niece that lives in Georgia. Her name is Alexis. What's her last name? Huh? Carvelis. Carvelis. Uh, that's why we have the cup. That's to give Alexis a shout out. Shout okay. Out. And it's delicious. Uh, the coffee. I love the coffee cup too. Uh, Georgia. There it is. Uh, anyway, let's go over here, Jerush. Take a look at that bacon. Uh, you can see there's lots of grease. I don't think the bacon's quite done. I'm going to let it cook just a little more. I'm going to try to pour off some of this without killing myself here. See, I'm allowing the grease to go bye-bye. And that, that's not right. Now, that's perfect. Do you Is that take, too much grease? Do you take the bacon out or do you cook the mamaliga oh, man, with mama the bacon? Oh, mamaliga goes right with it. Okay, I'm going to get ready to take my... My uh, thing here, and we're just gonna get the lumaliga in there, right? Okay. Now is that gas? It is gas. Let's get up there. Okay, there. And also to enhance the flavor, and I'm gonna add a little bit of butter to it. A little bit. A little bit. If someone wanted to use bacon grease, they put it in right now. Yeah, but yes, they will. Or leave some in there. I'm just trying to be a little more healthy now. All right. You know. But we're going to fry this up. I mean, the cornmeal's already cooked. You're just toasting yeah, it. Yeah, we're toasting, it. getting it. Yeah, see? There we go. That's looking good. Yeah, we'll put a little bit of that grease back in there. I said adding a little bit of bacon grease back into the pan helps the mulaliga to not stick to the pan. If you just use butter, it's kind of stick. But you can see here, it's nice and slippery. By adding just a little bit of bacon grease back in there, and it gives it good flavor <clears throat> as well. <laughs> See that? How slick that is? Yeah, that's looking good. Starting to get there. How will you know when it's done? Uh, when you go like this and take one out. Mmm. Perfect. What texture are you looking for? I'm looking for heat. Just hot? You have to heat each Not piece crispy? Through. Not crispy? Yeah, a little bit crispy. But just warm in the middle. I mean, I'm going to cook this for another 10 minutes. Yeah, they'd all get crispy. All right, what's next? The next thing we would do is add the eggs. Before I add the eggs, though, I am going to add a little more butter. There we go. Okay. See, the butter is going to grease the bottom of the pan so the eggs don't stick. <coughs> now, the eggs, and well, I think we used eight eggs, didn't we? Now you're going to want to turn from a high heat to a medium right now? Yeah, I'm going to turn it down a little. About like that. The eggs... You can see they'll cook on the outside if you just take them like this gently and bring them to the middle. You see, it'll slowly cook. The eggs will just. See? <sighs> gently. We don't want to overcook the eggs, they get like rubber, you know? So I've got the heat like on a medium heat. We're just going to slowly. Cook them. And see that milk and cream in the egg makes them fluffy. You know? Now, do you have a lid for this pan? Yes. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'll show you what I'm going to do. So it's already starting to solidify there. There's no more oh. liquid. Yeah. That's pretty, pretty much. Pretty, it's pretty quick. 
Yeah, it so is. You don't want to walk away. You want to keep this doing this till you're. Oh yeah, you want to keep, keep stirring it. Okay. Right about now, it's a little bit moist, which is good. Okay, I'm gonna take some cheese, just like this. Okay. Depending on how much cheese you like, you know, a little bit more. See that? Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a lid, Behind you, you. you can put the lid on. Oh. Whoa, oh. Jerusha, that's not the right lid. It's okay, you just set it in there. No, it's going to stick cheese. Dad, it's okay. It's going to stick cheese to the top. Okay, I'm going to take the lid off. And you'll notice the cheese is like 95% melted. And what we're going to do is just put a little garnish on it. That's parsley. Okay. Just to kind of beautify it a little bit. There we go. Now you can tell if that's looking pretty darn good, right? So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take a little wedge of this, see, like that. Who wants to eat this and taste it? Me? Okay. So Rishi's gonna taste it. I'm gonna get a little bit of the cheese, a little bit of all this. Uh, ooh, look at that. Holy moly, that, that cheese is stretchy. Okay, you ready? Mmm. The cheese, the sour cream, the delicious eggs, and the fried mamaliga. A perfect mamaliga sheep aparashi bronze islanina. I've been eating this stuff all my life. Mmm. Can't get enough of it. This is my beautiful fifth generation granddaughter. You got to remember the Mama Liga started with my great with my grandpa and then my dad and then there was me and then there was Jerusha and then Jerusha's kid is Amelia. And she's going to taste this. We're going to see if it's as good as it was 5 generations ago. You let me know, Amelia, what you think. Oh, look at all that cheese. Look at all the cheese. Uh-oh. Oh. oh I'll eat that. Okay. Pretty good, huh? Delicious. See, now she knows how to make it. She can teach it to her children. I'm telling you, this is a great meal for kids. It really adds a lot. That Mama Liga fills the kids up. You got a little bit of cheese, a little bit of bacon, a, a few eggs. And you know what? You can feed a whole lot of kids with what do this you, meal. What do you like about that, Amelia? Um, I like the variety. <laughs> um, I like how it incorporates my meal from last night, which is the Mama Liga with the chicken stew. Right. I have been eating this my whole life as well. You have? Good. His mother makes it all the time. Not there all you the go. Time, but very but it has never been like this because... I've always never been able to You've float. You've never been able to float. The yeah, if so you I saw always... the video last night, you noticed the importance of floating it before you stir. Well, if you don't float it, you end up stirring it in, and it's more like an Italian polenta. It's exactly. Too, it's and too that's soft. Fine. Well, it's too soft to make this dish. But this has You try advantages. to fry polenta, and it just falls apart. Right. What's cool about this is you cook it the next day, like we did this morning, cutting it up into little pieces, and those little things get juicy and crispy. And delicious. Right, granddaughter? I like the bacon. She likes the bacon. I like the bacon. Bacon in Romanian is slanina. Thanks, Richie. Yeah. Good good job. Yeah, you're welcome. Anytime. Mama Liga she papara she brunze is slanina. There you have it. Look what it's done for me. Just look. Look! You see all that? That's Mama Liga, baby, right there.